Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube, and welcome back to some more Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So, a couple of things since I left you guys last. We are back here uh, in Grease's Saloon, and when I say back here, um, what I mean is the game had a huge update this morning. It was uh, like 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2 gigabyte update. It's supposed to fix performance issues and things like that across the uh, PS5, PS, or excuse me, the PS5 and then the Xbox Series X and S. What had happened though, is when I booted the game back up, for some reason it didn't save my progress uh, that I was still here with Grease. And I started back at the last meditation point, which uh, was back in that cavern uh, where we faced off against the Rancor and got our butt absolutely kicked. Uh, I decided that since we were uh, back at a meditation point, I was going to do some fast traveling back to the start. So off camera, I went through uh, the first couple of areas kind of went through pretty thoroughly uh, just to see if there was anything I missed because I just I feel like I should have another stim canister by now. Uh, I think in the first game um, we got our first stim canister fairly early. And I just feel like I've missed one somewhere. I did not find a stim canister so we still uh, have just the two. Uh, found a couple of pieces of priorite uh, in some chests that I had missed. Um, found one super duper hidden treasure that I'm going to show you guys here in a little bit. Uh, and then also I found um, another pretty cool uh, piece of treasure. Uh, I decided I was going to come back here and just go through the Grease cutscene again so you guys wouldn't have to watch that. Went through the uh, fight again um, with the, uh, oh man, what's the guy's name? The Bedlam Raiders um, boss, or not the boss, but the... Uh, yeah, Ravis. So we uh, went through the fight with, uh, it wasn't Turgle. Who was it? I don't know. It was the it was the guy with the little spear. So we dispatched him pretty easily. Uh, but once I got down here and did the cutscene, uh, I was going to go back and show you guys where I'd found the loot and what it was. But it will not let me go. It wants us to go downstairs. Uh, to check out the basement. So we're going to have to do that first before we can get out of here. Mm, Zig, we'll talk to her in a little bit. Where the is the room? The basement must be through here. Kitchen, huh? Is this where they make the turbo dogs? I don't see any turbo dogs on the grill. I bet the food here is really good. Grease was a really good cook in the last game, so. Oh, nice. Wow. Got a meditation point here. Really Holy cow. Him. Wow, this is actually pretty sweet. Oh, he's got all his uh, little spacesuits here. Looks like we got a bed to relax in. Hey, uh, I wonder if we can plant our seeds there. We'll check that out in a little bit. I just want to see what everything is. I yeah, wonder what that is. That looks kind of neat. Oh, wait, hold on. So we got a door here. That's where we came from. Uh, we got something there. Uh, we've got a workbench. This is actually a really sweet little room. Thank you very much, Grease. Uh, first things first, let's go around this counterclockwise. Kobo's pretty far from the nearest trade route. Looks like Grease makes do with salvage. Yeah, just scrabbling together some parts. Uh, also, if you guys notice, I do have a skill point available. Work. So when I went through and was going around... So it looks like just your pretty standard workbench. So when I went through and was going around exploring some stuff, uh, I also... I don't know if that was like a mirror or something like uh, maybe an Elden Ring where we could go in and change our appearance, but that doesn't make sense because we can do that in the customization menu. Uh, but I was going through and messing around with the, uh, the Force uh, Evade ability that I purchased. Um, so it's going to be... Uh, we'll have to do it once we rest, but it's going to be that ability where you hold B to automatically... Um, dodge all physical attacks. I wasn't too impressed when I first got it, but it is 
actually really good now that I kind of figured out how to use it. So I'll show you guys that uh, once we get out of here and get into some combat. What happens if we relax? <laughs> talking in your sleep, huh? Guess some things never change. <laughs> well, you know. Hairball. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. We both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what? You're going to go find some trouble with Saw Guerrera? Maybe. Yeah. One of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... I'm still really curious about what went down between everybody. I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that gun, you cow? Uh, I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Somebody's got to stand up. Settle down. Find a home. What? Home, Grease. There is no home. Home was the order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? I know you were dealt a bad hand, but you gotta take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You gotta know when to walk away from a rigged game. Otherwise, you are gonna end up losing something you could never replace. Like your arm there, Grease? Curious to find out what happened to that. Alright. I want to show you something. This is a smuggler's tunnel. It came with the cantina. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the manis up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you one thing? It's really good seeing you again. Aw. I missed you too, Grease. I missed you too. Grease, I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. <laughs> I wonder if there's spiders down there. Um, one thing I did notice when I was going through the game settings, there is a... Um, Let's see, gameplay. There's an option to turn off. Oh, uh, yeah, arachnophobia safe mode. I thought that was uh, kind of interesting. You can turn off spiders if you don't like spiders. Okay, uh, we're going to finish uh, exploring our little house here. I guess so not our house, our, our room in dad's basement. Let's you check this out. Green thumb, Grace. Place needed some fresh air. The previous owners of this place were smugglers. They didn't exactly prioritize ventilation, you know? Yeah, I know. What is this? We can't. Okay, so there. What's he trilling at? What do you got, BD1? What are you trying to tell me, buddy?
Oh, so our secret tunnel uh, opens and closes when we enter and leave the room. What's Sears Halleck set doing here? I don't remember. After we all split up, I was unpacking it. <laughs> there it was. Maybe she was. The seven stringed Halleck set once belonged to the Jedi Seer Junda, who composed music with it using psychomatic. Psychometry, psychometry. I it, I looked it up. It's actually psychometry. Cal was able to play it, which is perhaps why Seer left it with him after she departed the Mantis. Hoping you'd learn. Uh, no, thank you. You know, if uh, a guy's got four arms, he's probably able to play uh, music fairly well. All right, let's see. Oh, let's check this crate out here. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. Scrapper outfit. Why did Grease keep this? That's pretty cool. Creepy. <laughs> oh, I think it's sentimental. All right, so we've got got this explored here. Um, I'm gonna try and see if we can fast travel out of here real quick. I need to focus. I'm gonna show you guys my treasure that I found. All right, will it let us go? Oh, it, it is not allowed. Okay. Uh, real quick though, I will. Whoops, that's all I want to do. We're gonna rest here, and I'll show you guys uh, what I was talking about with the force uh, ability. So in survival mode here, um, we pick up this focus sight. Hold B to automatically evade incoming melee attacks. So I kind of thought it was one of those things where you just held it and. Uh, it activated and you could move around and stuff. When I started using it, you couldn't really move and I kind of just dismissed it. But actually you don't have to hold B very long to get it to activate. So it's really good, I've found, for dodging uh, right. unblockable Let's attacks. Go. So if we can find some uh, combat down here in this tunnel, which it sounds like we will, we'll see if we can kind of show that off a little bit. <laughs> So looks like we got to go and do this before we're going to be able to fast travel out of here. But I promise as soon as we uh, can get back to where I was, uh, I will show you guys what I found. Old smuggling tunnels, huh? Grease always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. Always looking for loot. Whoops. Come on, Cal. I wonder, I'm going to just look real quick um, in the settings and see if there's maybe an option to kind of auto clamber. And it does not look like it. Anything in controls. Nope. And this just shows what we've got for controls. Um, I do have everything control-wise set on just the uh, default. But I do have uh, uh, Xbox Elite 2. So I did go in and do a little bit of customization okay, on that. Just because I prefer using the um, paddles on the back to um, the left and the right bumpers. I just think it feels more natural. Where are we going, little boggling? Uh-oh. So are we going to learn how to boggling. disable this? No. Looks like we're just going to shimmy through there. Make sure I didn't miss anything while I was rambling. All right. I don't think it was the Bogglings that scared Grease. I mean, hopefully it's not another Rancor, because that thing uh, definitely... This is... Uh... These look like things from... Oh, you can't force pull those. All right, let's see if, uh, here, try and, ooh, those guys hit hard. All right, so we've got this guy here. 
Let's see if we can do that evade. There we go. Let's see if we can get do a red one. But yeah, if you kind of just hold it a little bit. There, I held it a little bit too much. Oh man, I'm going to die here. Oh crap. Well, let's see. Let's scan this. Let's take a look. A gorger. Susceptible to force moves to stop their erratic movements. Often found in groups where they will try to overwhelm their target. Indigenous to the planet Kobo, the lith and agile grogers, gor gorgers have learned to stalk and corner their prey with a desperate efficacy. Known as hunters to the locals, a gorger is naturally cautious, only striking with certain, lunging with sharpened claws and hungry lethal fangs. Oh, that was a big hairy beast we fought before. Um, nothing on our huge giant rancor that we fought. No. All right. Hopefully this gives us some health. That'd be awesome because I'm really low right now. Skill point. Okay. I'll take that anytime. Um, you know what I just realized? The reason I'm low on health and I don't have any stims is because when I rested or meditated, I didn't rest. We're going to go do that real quick, guys. Just checking time to see how we're at. We're at 16 minutes here, so we'll hurry back here. But yeah, the, the uh, evade ability. I'm starting to like that now. It was uh, something I was a little bit worried about because I was like, man, I spent two skill points on that, but uh, now that I'm getting, getting a little bit more used to the ability, I think it's actually going to be really good. I haven't been paying too much attention when I've been using it to see um, what kind of a, a cost it has when I'm using it for the force. We'll maybe try and pay attention to that down here because we should be able to see. We got just these two. Oh, there's three of them. Okay. Let's see. And I'm trying to get used to this force slow here. Actually, you know what? There is something I want to change here. That's weird. It I've got this figured out and I'm kind of a dummy. So basically how this works is I hold it. Mm, I don't know. I, I think I got it. I hold it and it kind of activates it. And then I, I can press B to dodge the attack. Oh, here, perfect. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get down here. Get rid of that 
that guy. Just go one on one while we're kind of messing around here. I'm trying to see if there's um, like a visible cooldown or anything. Well, that's weird. That just. Hmm. I just seem to use up a ton of my force power. Let's see if we can get some back here by blocking just so we can kind of keep keep testing. Oh, that was a red. Help it is. So I think, I, I kind of think I got it, but it's going to take a little bit more testing. I wonder, maybe if I go back and watch the footage, you'll be able to tell. But I wonder if that one that used up a lot of the force power on my force meter, if that was like a red unblockable attack. We'll see. Careful around here, bud. Nobody's used these tunnels for a long time now. Hmm. There's any purpose coming up here? All right, let's see what we've got here. So we've got a grapple point down there. More scraps, huh? Nothing. Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk. Oh. So when he turns blue... Hmm. Just a regular evade. Hmm. So can't figure out how or why sometimes it turns blue. I'm I'm pressing the button uh, for the same amount of time here. Apologize if this is boring. I'm just I'm kind of trying to figure out the mechanics of this. I think it's just going to require some more testing. I'm not seeing any visual cues on the screen. Uh, if it's something that just is active for a little bit. Or how it works. Hardcore parkour. Are we BD visor and something here? There's something like right behind us. Oh, is that what he wants? No. Is that it? Looks like a gyro. I used to be a starship mechanic in a past life. BD, go! No! Well, crap. Never look when you can leap, hey? 
sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can. We should check this out. Wow, it looks like a. Does this look like uh, Zepho stuff to any of you guys? It, it, it is. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, in the first game, Jedi Fallen Order, the Zepho were kind of the main um, culprits behind a lot of the uh, areas that we explored. Basically, they were an ancient race of Force users uh, who kind of just disappeared. And uh, Eno Cordova was uh, tracking them just to kind of figure out their secrets and stuff. And this looks like uh, kind of like a Zepho 2 almost. Uh, we're going to call this episode uh, right here, guys. Um, sorry, it was a little bit more of a uh, boring episode. I don't think we really accomplished too much story-wise. And we spent some time kind of messing around with our evade mechanic um, to see if we could get a little bit uh, more use out of that and get a little bit more proficient in our use of it. But anyways, guys, I hope you are enjoying the series. I am definitely enjoying this game so far. If you want to hit the uh, like button, uh, give me a subscribe if you're enjoying the content as well. I would greatly appreciate it. But that's all for this one. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and catch us again for some more Jedi Survivor.